welcome everyone. As I was saying earlier to uh, folks up on my floor, this is one of those very few hearings where we come with excitement and uh, pleasure and delight in what we're, we'll be doing. Uh, this is a public hearing of the Commission on Judicial Appointments, noticed for this time and place for the purpose of considering the appointment by Governor Gavin Newsom of the Honorable Maria E. Stratton to the Office of Presiding Justice at the Second District Court of Appeal Division 8. As the Chief Justice of California, I chair the Commission on Judicial Appointments, and the other members of the Commission are our Attorney General, Rob Bonta, and Presiding Justice, Arthur Gilbert. Amoy Kim and Janelle Baker are serving as Secretary to the Commission, and the Commission is in receipt of a letter from Governor Newsom appointing Justice Stratton to fill a vacancy created by the retirement of Presiding Justice Patricia Ann Bigelow. The state constitution specifies that an appointment by the governor to the Court of Appeal is effective when confirmed by the Commission on Judicial Appointments. The Commission received correspondence pertaining to this appointment, and we made these letters available to the press and to the public several days ago. Pursuant to a request by Governor Newsom, the Commission on Judicial Nominees Evaluation, also known as Jenny, uh, has undertaken an evaluation of the qualifications of Justice Stratton for this position. Mr. Adam Hoffman, who is chair of that commission, is present today to publicly announce the results of that evaluation, and he will do so later in our proceedings. Justice Stratton has asked that Ms. Marilyn E. Bednarski be called to testify on her behalf, and at this time, I invite Ms. Bednarski to the podium. Good morning, Honorable Chief Justice Kantil Sakayui, Attorney General Bonta, and Presiding Justice Arthur Gilbert. My name is Marilyn Bednarski. I'm a lawyer and partner in my law firm in Pasadena, California, and I'm honored to testify on behalf of Maria Stratton, who's nominated, as you know, to be Presiding Justice of the Second District Court of Appeal, Division 8. It is a delightful and positive opportunity to be here. Justice Stratton has a strong sense of justice and she is a leader of lawyers. She's a team builder. When I met Justice Stratton, I was a law student and she had the job I dreamed of having as a deputy federal public defender in the Los Angeles office. And she and the other defenders represented indigent defendants in the Central District, which at that time had about 15 million people. The jurisdiction spanned from the edge of San Diego County to the edge of San Luis Obispo County and out to the edges beyond to Fresno. It was the most populous district and I think probably still is in California. And her qualities then as a tenacious advocate with so much credibility and intelligence served her well. In the 1980s and 1990s, the federal bench was almost entirely older white men. And she was zealous in her measured way and didn't offend people, but didn't also lessen her zealousness in her representation of her clients. And that's not an easy line to walk. She did it with great dignity and credibility, as I said, and gave great legal advice then, as she continues to do now, 40 years later. And over these years, many lawyers and organizations have admired her and her skills as a lawyer and a leader it seems when you look at her resume that everywhere she went, she became a leader. When she was at her boutique law firm of Talcott, Lightfoot, Vandeveld, Worley, and Sadowski in the 1990s, she was not only a full-time litigator, but she also for many of those years was managing partner. Then as the head of the Federal Defender's Office for 13 years, she brought that office 
to the elite office that it is today. She created an appellate unit. She created a death penalty writ unit. We already had a trial unit. And she made those people into the elite representative lawyers for the rest of the federal defender community in the central, in the central district. And after becoming a supervising judge in 2005 in the Los Angeles Superior Court, she held a number, I'm sorry, after becoming a judge in the Superior Court in 2005, she held a number of supervisory positions, seemingly at each place where she went, whether it was the mental health court, the Van Nuys court, or anywhere else. And now, four years later, she's being elevated, after being elevated to associate justice on the second district, Court of Appeal, we come to this day where she's nominating to be the presiding justice of Division 8. I've saved the best for last. She's just an extraordinary human being. Aside from all these accomplishments, she's just a wonderful person. She has a strong sense of what's right. She has the ability to listen to others and their points of view. She seeks consensus where she can. And she's not afraid to articulate a different opinion where necessary and deliver it with respect. For all of these reasons and those in the letters submitted to you, I urge confirmation of Justice Stratton as presiding justice of the Second District Court of Appeal, Division 8. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bednarski. I, I appreciate that uh, when you saved the best for last, mm -hmm. as you described uh, Justice Stratton as an extraordinary human being who seeks consensus and still gives an opinion respectfully when, ne when necessary that uh, really tied together all of her other leadership thus far that you have described. So thank you very much. Thank you. The commission now invites Mr. Adam Hoffman to the podium for the evaluation conducted by the State Bar's Commission on Judicial Nominees. Good morning, Madam Chief Justice, Mr. Attorney General, Mr. Presiding Justice. I am honored to present this report on behalf of the Commission on Judicial Nominees Evaluation, Jenny, to summarize the basis of the Jenny Commission's rating of Justice Maria E. Stratton for the Office of Presiding Justice of the Court of Appeal, 2nd Appellate District, Division 8. The Jenny Commission conducted its evaluation of Justice Maria E. Stratton on February 11, 2022, finding her to be exceptionally well qualified for service on the 2nd District Court of Appeal. According to Jenny Commission rules, this rating reflects the Commission's determination that Justice Stratton possesses qualities and attributes of remarkable or extraordinary superiority that enable her to perform the appellate judicial function with distinction. Justice Stratton grew up in San Diego, which was her father's last duty station as a military surgeon. She obtained a full merit-based scholarship from the University of Southern California and graduated in 1975 with a BA degree, majoring in social welfare. She earned her JD degree in 1979 from the University of California Berkeley School of Law. After law school, Justice Stratton clerked for the Honorable Harry Pregerson for two years, first in the United States District Court for the Central District of California, and then in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals after his elevation. From 1981 to 1984, she worked as a Deputy Federal Public Defender for the Central District of California. Justice Stratton then practiced federal civil litigation with Overland Burke, Wellesley, Gitz, Randolph, and Levanus in Los Angeles for one year. From 1985 to 1993, she represented individuals and small businesses as a civil litigator with Talcott, Lightfoot, Van Veld, Horley, Sandowski in Los Angeles. At Talcott, Justice Stratton was promoted to partner and then to managing partner. In 1993, after a nationwide search, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal appointed Justice Stratton to become the federal public defender for the Central District of California. She was the first woman appointed to this role during her 12 years in this position, she established appellate and capital habeas units while managing the largest staff of federal public defenders in the nation. She also served on the Ninth Circuit Capital Case and Capital Court Oversight Committees and the Ninth Circuit Gender Bias Task Force Los Angeles Working Group. 
In 2006, Justice Stratton was appointed to the Los Angeles County Superior Court bench. She presided over misdemeanor trial, drug court, and drug diversion court, mental health court, and probate. Justice Stratton also served as assistant supervising judge for the mental health division, assistant supervising judge for the Northwest Division, and as supervising judge for the probate and mental health courts. As a Superior Court judge, Justice Stratton served on numerous advisory groups, including the Judicial Council's Mental Health Issues Implementation Task Force and the Center for Judicial Education and Research Advisory Committee Probate Law Curriculum Committee. She remained act active in uh, bench and bar education by conducting trainings in a variety of topics, including mental health, conservatorships, probate guardianships, sexually violent predators, and mentally disordered offender commitments. In 2018, Justice Stratton was appointed to serve as a post, uh, excuse me, Associate Justice of the Court of Appeals Second Appellate District, Division 8. Presently, she is a member of the Judicial Council's Probate Law Curriculum Advisory Committee and Indigent Defense Oversight Advisory Committee. Justice Stratton has received numerous accolades, including the 2003 Mort Herbert Service Award for Outstanding Community Service from the Criminal Courts Bar Association of Los Angeles and the 2016 Ernestine Stahlhut Award for the Women Lawyers Association of Los Angeles. Justice Stratton is held in the highest esteem by colleagues, former employees, and the legal community at large. She has extensive management experience, including as a managing law firm partner as the Federal Public Defender for the Central District of California and as a supervising and assistant supervising judge in the Superior Court. Justice Stratton would bring her proven leadership talents and management skills to the role of presiding justice. Therefore, the Jenny Commission found that Justice Stratton is exceptionally well qualified to become the presiding justice of the Second Appellate District, Division 8. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. I invite uh, Justice Stratton to the podium to make a statement, if you wish, and to answer any questions the commission may have. Thank you. Um, I guess the only st uh, statement I really want to make is just to thank everyone who's here today. <laughs> um, I have several family members that are here that are also friends, and several friends that are also family members. Um, I particularly just want to thank Marilyn um, for testifying on my behalf today and um, her spouse, Lynn, who's here today. I've really valued their friendship over the years. Um, Marilyn and I were baby lawyers together, and it's nice to grow up and see everybody go their different ways um, successfully. Um, I also just wanted to thank my family that's here today, um, my son Jacob, who's here, my sister Monica Stratton, my brother Chris Stratton and my brother-in-law, Randy Chavez, um, who's here. And then I also wanted to thank my sister-in-law, Karen, my daughters, Elena and Lily, and my son-in-law, Jeff, who aren't here, but they're here in spirit, I know. Um, and then I wanted to thank my staff, and I also wanted to thank Danny and Eva for being here today because they keep our court running so smoothly. Um, I wanted to thank my staff, Hillary, Mary, uh, Deborah and Laura because they make me look so good all the time um, and finally I guess what I really wanted to say is that I have had um, I've just been very blessed in my career um, by being exposed to colleagues uh, employees co-workers mentors employers law partners who have um, really gone out of their way to mentor me and to make me a better person and to make me a better judge throughout my career. And um, I just have to say that um, I hope that I live up to their expectations in me and um, I hope to honor them by my performance as um, presiding justice of Division 8 if I'm con confirmed. Um, and that's really my promise to them. Uh, to do what I can to continue the spirit of collegiality in our division and also the spirit that every, everyone's opinions matter um, and that it's just important that everyone have a work environment where they feel like they can 
put that opinion out there and everyone's gonna value it in a very collegial way. And I guess that's my promise to you, the commission, and that's my promise to the governor, who I, I thank so much for nominating me for this. And um, that's my promise to the people of the state of California as well. So. Thank you, Justice Stratton. Let me ask welcome. the panel if they have any observations, remarks, or questions. Good morning, Justice Stratton. Uh, honored to be here uh, today. And I was going to ask you what you think are the most important qualities for an, an appellate presiding justice, but I've already heard about how you work towards consensus, how you provide uh, counter uh, opinions with, with respect. And I just heard you talk about um, the investment and support and nurturing of collegiality as well as um, making sure that folks always know that everyone's opinion matters. So I don't know if you have anything else to add um, that you might think is really important to being successful. Um, I might also ask if you've given it some thought what your top priorities will be as um, presiding justice. Um, my top priorities really, I, I guess I have two. One is um, I learned a lot from my PJ, Trish Bigelow. Um, about the importance of being very neutral and being very welcoming as far as everyone's different perspectives and opinions on things, and I thank her for that, and I hope to continue her tradition of being that way. I mean, she used to say, hey, the governor wants your opinion, so give it. You know, don't feel shy, don't feel, you know, uh, put upon, just put it out there, because that's what your job is, is to give your opinion, and I just learned so much from that open, open attitude, and I hope to continue to do that as PJ. I think if you have that attitude in your division, as much as you disagree, it doesn't matter, because you're always working together towards the same goal to get the fair result. Um, so that's kind of my first priority, and then the second priority is I really would like to try to get the bar more involved in the way we do our work, and um, I think it's, I know over my career, I've had a lot of interactions with the bar from leadership positions, and I've just found their input to be so important. And I would like to try to maybe increase their participation in how we do our work. Thank you. Well, um, we're colleagues already <laughs> on the court, so I know you pretty well. But after looking at your resume, that is so impressive, things I didn't know about. I'm thinking of retiring next week. <laughs> It's really, really quite impressive. Don't and do I that. think I'm one of the old white men still on the court. But I'll make room for others soon. Uh, and I, I just have to remark that being a public defender uh, is probably, I think everyone on this commission would agree, is one of the toughest jobs in the legal profession. It is really tough. And it requires such a commitment uh, to justice and the rule of law. And you've done that with such panache and such brilliance. Uh, and um, I just have to mention that uh, you, you worked uh, uh, for uh, uh, Justice Pragerson. And believe it or not, his office and mine, when we were practicing law, was just down the street. <laughs> so I used to spend some time with him. He was a dear friend of mine. And uh, I can imagine that experience uh, really makes you uh, prime for the Court of Appeal, and you've proven yourself to be a brilliant justice on that court. And uh, Mort Herbert, you won the Mort Herbert Award, who was a good friend of mine, and I just have to let you know, he was a jazz bassist. Did you know that? He played the bass with Louis Armstrong. <laughs> no, I didn't know that? that. I mean, just an amazing story. Uh, and so I can, I can see some connections there. Um, and I just have an inkling how the vote will go. We haven't voted yet. But assuming you're uh, confirmed, I'm looking forward to working with you on the uh, executive committee. You're an automatic member by virtue of this. So that's where the PJs meet, and you'll get some insights you never knew about on the Court of Appeal. So we're going to have a lot of fun on that committee. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I, Justice Stratton, I just want to say it's no surprise to me uh, given your uh, other Koji hearing that in just a few short years you are here for the position of presiding justice. And once again, I am uh, I, I truly impressed by not only your, your resume as uh, just briefly gone over by Mr. Hoffman, but also your character as described by Ms. Bednarski. And my only curiosity here is given your wide range of law 
and the work you've done and you've done hard work as been described here and in the four year in the years you've been on the court of appeal you've done hard work and i hats off to anyone who does a to act honestly <laughs> um, I, my question is to you what do you find um what type of law do you most resonate with i mean i know how i approach law and different disciplines but with uh, with your scope what do you look at uh, which is your if, if it can be said which is the most interesting which is your favorite which do you do, are you drawn to which type of law you know it's interesting you should ask that because um I remember when I, I asked Nora Manella once why she left the federal bench for the state court. And she said, because all you do in federal court is pass money around to rich people. And I don't want to do that for my career. And I thought, oh, that's kind of an interesting perspective. And I found then when I came to state court in 2006, because my whole career had been in federal court, that I was really drawn to all the areas that were kind of people areas as opposed to money areas. And I thought, wow, Laura, Nora like, really knew what she was talking about when she said that. She kind of summed it up. She summed up my perspective really succinctly and correctly because I did find myself more drawn to the mental health cases, the probate cases, the family law cases, the uh, dependency and delinquency in criminal law cases, the cases where you're really dealing with the human condition as opposed to equally important, but just different cases of people, you know, having business problems with each other. So um, that's, that's kind of what I like the most about the Court of Appeal is that you get to dip your toe in every kind of pool mm -hmm. and, um, and some some pools are not as interesting as others, but they're still really interesting. Um, and so I've just found myself uh, kind of drawn to those cases, as other justices are drawn to other cases. And so you, it's a nice mix when, when, when you're together with a group like I am, where everyone's kind of drawn, coming from a different background and drawing, drawing from different perspectives. You get, a, you get a really good result that way, I think. And I, I have to say, I'm so grateful to the governor that he's just putting all these different practice areas on the bench. It's just going to be so amazing to when everybody gets in there and starts mixing it up with each other. It's, it's just going to be wonderful for our court, I think. I, I appreciate that answer. I fully understand it, and I, I, it resonates. And uh, you can never go wrong with asking Justice Manila. And I, I will say, last time I saw her, truly, I thanked her for her eloquence because she does drill down and that's yeah. very helpful for clarity. Well, if there aren't any more questions and I'm going to ask the uh, commission that first advise you, this is the list of witnesses, are we prepared to vote? Yes. All in favor of confirming uh, Justice Maria Stratton for this position, please say aye. 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 And so officially the commission on judicial appointments having considered the correspondence received, the testimony given today. We find uh, the Honorable Maria E. Stratton qualified to be presiding justice of the Second District Court of Appeal, Division 8, and we hereby confirm your appointment. Thank you. Uh, presiding Justice Stratton, we'll have uh, CHP bring you up and around to the, to the bench so that we may uh, administer the oath. paperwork on bonk later. Okay. We'll stand at the side. I hope she knows to bring up family or friends if she cares to. Oh. Self-service here, so move everything. And then Amoy will probably just hand over the paperwork okay. over the bench for us to sign to send to the Secretary of State. Would you like us to be in a particular position? Where I think you should be nearby for when I okay, administer the oath for the I'll commission. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is my son, Jacob Spassky. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. How'd you do it? <laughs> okay. Oh, 
So, okay, how do you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, state your name. I, Maria Elena Stratton. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. So please. So please. <laughs> Thank you. Please. <laughs> More comments? <laughs> Thank you all for coming today. Thank you, Mona, for this lovely way. <laughs> it really adds a lot of festivity to the occasion. Um, and um, just so happy you could all be here, and I'm so happy that I get this opportunity to serve our court and our state. Thank you so much. I invite the uh, commission members to sign away and uh, to have these documents be part of the uh, Secretary of State's files. But first, I'll ask Justice, uh, Presiding Justice Stratton to sign the oath. And this is for you. Oh, thank you. Another one to add to your collection. <laughs> and we'll step to the back and do the signature. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>